Hello right, everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, just out in the woods again today, just for a, a couple of hours in the woods. Uh, got a new tent not so long ago, so I just want to set that up and give it a test out. Uh, so it was like, yeah, I've had it up once before, but as soon as I put it up, it started draining, so I had to take it straight back down again, because i just done it like so on the field. So, uh, right, so like I so said, just in the woods there, going to have a bit of a, a sort of a coke up and a uh, cup of coffee with a candy kettle again. And uh, yeah, I'm just looking for a nice spot to set up. Yeah, nice flat spot. Brought the tarp with me as well to go over the tent just so I've got somewhere to sit if it rains. Because uh, the wind keeps on coming down. And uh, it's pretty windy as well today, so... Uh, I love look. Uh, this looks like a good spot over here, mate. Just uh, stop here. Leave some of those. I'll just show you around in the woods. Uh, absolutely beautiful place. Right. Yeah, I'm just packed on the edge of the woods just there, so I haven't really walked that far in. Because, uh for example, he just came out of there just to give this a quick test. And uh, it looks like there's a good spot over here. So, uh, yeah, we'll set up over here. This looks good. And I'll bring you around when I get here. Uh, this bit down here looks good, look. Some birch back there as well. I might get some of that uh, to make fire with later. Right, I think I'm just going to set up here amongst these trees. And then, uh, that was on. Um, I won't show you all the setting up process and stuff like that. And uh, I'll bring you back when I'm set up. So, catch us in a bit. Okay, so I'm just going to see you there. I wasn't going to fill the dish, but uh, I'm just filling it straight out. We'll use the assist to put up. Uh, by these tents, it's, uh, what's it it's the OEX Bobcat one man tent. Uh, like I said, there's only enough space in them for one man to lay, but uh, absolutely. On land, that, and on, uh, sorry, on social media, they look absolutely brilliant tents. Uh, when I set this up last time, I did leave the inner inside, so we'll see if we can set it up with the inner, it's still attached. Some people said you can, and some people said it's a bit awkward, so uh, we'll give it a go anyway. So yeah, good thing about this as well, it only has one pole. Just one pole straight through the centre. So we'll give it a go, see what it looks like. Right, some people with these as well struggle to get the poles into the uh, clips where you put them. But, uh, up to now I haven't had that struggle yet. When I set it up last time, it was a bit hard to thread the pole through the, uh, this bit here, not to thread it through now. But once it goes through here, it seems alright. I had the people saying your uh, poles are a bit too big to try and get into the loops at the bottom, but we'll give it a go. Let's see what we get on. I went to bed, some people say that, yeah, some of the tents get that hard to do one. But uh, I will try and get it picked out. Yeah, had a quick check of what was up to make sure there's no deadfalls in the trees, we're feeling a bit windy. Yeah, seems alright at the minute.
Okay, he's got the pocket on the side as well just to put the uh, measure bit in. You have a look. And this bit here just pulls up at the bottom. And uh, the hooks came off when the pocket away. So by the looks of it, uh, the hooks come off when you leave the inner in. Right, uh, not bad. Yeah, I'll get it back out. I'll give you a look at it. There you go, well set up. And it's really not massive tents, but uh, you know, it's just a backpack and uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, we'll give it a look. Hi, uh, I'll give you a look what it looks like inside. Uh, I like uh, on social media and on uh, YouTube and that people swear by these tents. Uh, really light as well, like say for backpacking and that. And uh, you can pitch you out first and then the inner. And uh, obviously, you're not going to get the inner wet, whereas the uh, OEX Fox 2 that I've got, you have to pitch the inner first. And then the outer, which is a chance of getting the inner wet. So I'll just show you inside. <laughs> yeah, it's inside it there. Uh, not too bad, like it's alright for uh, one man. And then you just put uh, your stuff on the outside of you, like your bag and your boots and whatever. And uh, you've got a bit of a porch as well, so you can cook in there if it rains, depending on which way the rain, depending on which way the rain, uh, rain's blowing. Right, not bad tents actually, but it looks it. So, um, trees are making a lot of creaking, wouldn't it, man? Right, I'll uh, get the tarp set up before it starts raining, and then uh, go from there. So, bring his back when the tarp's set up. Right, there's all the tarp set up now with the tent. So, hopefully, if it rains now, I can sit underneath it and stay and dry rather than being confined in this small tent. Right, hopefully, we should be right. Right, um, I'm going to get some stuff set up in there. Uh, Make a cup of coffee first, and then uh, I brought some army ration packs today. Well, not with an army ration pack. Uh, this one is sausage casserole. And then I've got a uh, chocolate pudding cake. So I right, so we're just going to make a cup of coffee, and then boil some water in the pan and get these. Uh, a lot at work give me a couple of ration packs called Jeff. So thanks very much, Jeff, for these. And uh, in the past, a last called Lisa has given me a few ration packs because the son uh, used to be in cadets. So when he didn't eat out the ration packs, he used to give me them, so thanks a lot Lisa as well. So uh, hi, thanks a lot both of you for the ration packs. I uh, really appreciate it. So uh, we've got the Kelly kettle on the go and then um, uh, we've got a coffee on and some food. Uh, just, just give you a quick look around the top. Yeah, it's a different box. Like, so, uh, yeah, it just keeps the tent covered, and like, so obviously I can sit under there if it starts raining, so I don't have to be confined to the tent. But, uh, yeah, I'll just give you a quick look.
Right, pretty good camouflage pattern that if you're like, doing stealth camping around. Now if you're doing any sort of stealth camping out and uh, you're in the woods with that, I think it's going to be at the spot. So, right, so yeah, like I so said, we'll get the, get the Kelly set up and then uh, we we'll get sorted. I'm just clearing the patch down here to get out. Uh, all these Kelly kettles are absolutely uh, brilliant bits of kit. Which I wouldn't want to take one backpacking like, but uh, there's on park pretty close to the woods. They're not that bad. Uh, that's the base of the Kelly kettle. Uh, that's a hobo stove that we're going to be cooking on soon. Uh, you just move the fire in there so it keeps the fire contained. I have cleaned the floor. So yeah, you put that on there. And then that also use that as a hobo stove. We're going to sort that out in a minute. We also have these uh, trivets, if you can see them. Over there, they just raise the kelly kettle off the floor and it stops you leaving a scorch mark and it protects the floor a little bit as well. So. Right. Right, we've got a fire going in that. Uh, best thing to do is find out which way the wind's blowing. Face that hole towards the wind. And we should be alright with that. Um, yeah, it's blowing back of me, so that should be alright. Right, the things I need um, to I've brought my own wood in because obviously the wood's soaking to be many. Uh, so I'm just going to chop a few little bits of wood up that I've brought in. And then once they're done, uh, we'll start feeding it because when you feed these kelly kettles, you better off with thin bits of wood because it burns better inside them. So, uh, we'll get that from it. Now we're just going to uh, batten a few bits of wood down just to uh, make them a bit smaller. Right, that'll do for now. Right, when you use the oboe stove as well, you don't have to be that small because it burns a lot better than it is when it's in the cylinder. Right, we'll just get this fire lit. I'm not using any fancy fire lighting bits today, just a lighter. Some fire lighters. Wanna find them? Yeah, next year we'll uh, fill the kettle up with water and then get it on the boil. If we can like this with the wind being the way it is, give it a go. go. Uh, I'll put it outside the tarp as well because once you put the kettle on, you get like a funnel of. Um, fire out the top, so I'll set it out just a bit from the top, just in case it uh, shouldn't catch it out like it's pretty high, but just in case. Yeah, and this all you do is pull the whistle out. Like a cylinder, you can see straight through it. Just pour some water in it, and we'll use the same water to top the pan up when I uh, boil the ration packs.
Right, I don't uh, leave these on the fire when we've got no water in them now because uh, they can burn out. It's got arrows, so I'll tell you which way the whistle needs to go. They will just flame it up like that. You can just put stuff straight in the top of it. So it makes it a bit easier. So I'll bring this back when it starts to boil. Now when you lift these off the water zone, make sure you lift them up by the angle. Otherwise you bend your hands above that jet. I don't just lift it off by uh, the angle above the jet because obviously you bend your hands. I don't need to be that small for this bit now, so uh, right. Right, And this bit just goes on top of that, like that. Yeah, probably coffee out there, whatever water is left, we'll uh, use to cook the ration packs. Yeah, and you put the whistle in as well. Don't put it in too tight because it would be a nightmare to pull back out. And then you use the cord on the back just to pour it. So, yeah, brilliant uh, bits of kit these like. I think we've got the pan in the boil, ready for the ration pack. Pour a bit more water in, we'll just go to cold down but it'll boil up quick again. And that water in there I can just use for um, putting the fire out later on. And use this fork for the brushing pack as well. Yeah, I'll show this properly when I get back home. Right, we'll just wait for that boiling out and uh, let's see if we get the uh, ration pack on. So I'll split some more wood while that's boiling. Pan's boiling out, so let's get the pack in. You have to leave them in about five minutes just to warm them up. Make sure you can eat these cold as well, so you don't really need to warm them up. Uh, I didn't think that'd be on, but no gloves, that uh, pan's handle's going to be hot. So uh, it's going to be a bit of a night time. That's it. 
Yeah. So we're going to have a couple of minutes now for it to warm up and then uh, hopefully you'll be ready for us to eat. Oh, yeah, you can buy the dry the dry stuff out of uh, camping shops and stuff like that, but it costs anything from £5 to nearly £10 for one pack that you'd hardly get anything in. Fair enough it's dehydrated so it's going to be lighter, but if you're going somewhere where there's no water source, you still have to carry your water anyway. Whereas the ration packs, obviously, they're all liquid inside them as well, so they are a bit heavier. But um, for a ration pack, when I've been looking online, you can buy a full 24 ration pack for about 10 to 15 pound online, and you get quite a lot of meals with it. Like, say, I haven't brought the full lot, I've just brought a couple of meals out with me today. But uh, you get quite a lot inside a ration pack for 15 pound. So I think I'd rather buy a ration pack for 15 pound and get quite a few meals than buy one meal for 10 pound, even though it's a bit of weight, but you're not saving out if you have to carry water with it anyway. So I don't see what the difference is, but never mind, it's just my opinion. Yeah, these uh, Kelly kettles are bringing. Oh, and I've got myself a new microphone as well for the camera, so I've been checking out, it seems to be working at the minute, so uh, hopefully that works all the way through. So I can put the camera a bit further away now when I'm talking, it doesn't have to be right in my face, so that's good. Hopefully. Right, sometimes when the breeze drops as well, because you need that all to get the breeze in to get the five on, sometimes it drops down a little bit, but uh, if you just give it a quick glow, then it just resets it again. Wait, just let me copy. Uh, I'm not going to bother eating, eating the cake one up, because uh, the young brought plate me now, letting that just go to mush, so I'll just eat that one straight out the packet. See what it tastes like, though. Right, I'll bring us back when this is ready. Okay, so you can open this ration pack and see uh, what it tastes like. Right, it's the last. Let's have a go. Yeah, just a quick one out in the woods today. Um, just thinking, so, uh, I've just noticed as well, because I didn't charge my microphones when I first got them, because they had charge. I uh, just used them straight out of the box, and I've just realised that halfway through one of them videos, uh, one of the batteries ran out, so sorry if you haven't heard what I've been saying. Right, I've just been saying basically about the Kelly Kettle and that being brilliant. And uh, this, but uh, yeah, so sorry if the audio was cut off somewhere during the video, but I didn't realize that the um, microphone had cut out. So hopefully the camera's picking me up now. So uh, I should have fully charged them before I brought them out to try them. Yeah, give us a look. Now it doesn't look too feeling like inside there, but I uh, will give it a go, see what it's like. this wood, get rid of it. And make sure I've got water there to make sure the fire's out as well at the end in there, make sure it's all cleaned up and not left behind. So, some. Oh yeah, hopefully you can hear me all right, like so the microphone's packed up, so I've just checked there and it sounds all right. So we'll give us a taste, see what it tastes like. Actually, that's not too bad, that's nice. Yeah, like I said, I'd rather pay 10, 15 quid for a, a ration pack with loads of meals and drinks and stuff that you get in it, and uh, tea and coffees and whatever. Rather than paying 5 to 10 pounds for one meal. Yeah, it's pretty uh, full in there as well, you get quite a bit of stuff in it. Don't know if you can see in there, but yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff in there. Sausages are a bit big, like, but it would have been cut up into pieces. See if I can break it. Maybe they go. No, that was nice, that, like. So I'm just going to finish eating this, and then I'll uh, bring this back when I'm done. I'm just going to let this uh, 
put them last few bits on, let that burn down now. Yeah, uh, let's try the uh, toffee cake. We've we'll tried this yet, which I'm just going to eat this uh, cold, not going to warm it up. So I imagine it'd be messy once it gets warmed up. But yeah, uh, we'll have a look, see what happens. Oh, another thing as well with these ration packs. Because they're pretty um, big packs, I re recommend a spoon with a longer handle. Yeah, it's going to be messy that like. Pop it up. There it is. Yeah, it looks a bit messy this one. Actually, it's not too bad. Actually, it's only one going to eat it up and uh, eat it with a spoon, see what it's like. Put the bottle back on the boat. Meet Danny on the road, just right in reason the winds are blowing that way now. Now shut the name warm it up. Seems any better. So it's still nice like but I think it might be better warm. So we'll give that a go. Let's just put me rubbish away. Right, I'll bring you back when that's warmed up. Take it off now, let it cool down a bit and see what it's like. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to eat it with a spoon like so I'll have to pop it up again a bit. Should go up gloves. I just better warm like. Hopefully it's gonna me. I'm gonna read the rest of this off camera. And uh after I'm just gonna tidy up and then I'll uh, bring his back when I'm tied when I'm tidied up. So I'll catch us in a bit. Right, um all packed away. So I'm ready to go. So I will just show you where I was. Uh, that's where my tent was up near that tree there, and obviously that's where he had my uh, Kelly kettle down there, no trace of anything. So I leave no trace, and there's my backpack all packed up with my bag of rubbish. Yeah, I leave no trace because that's why it's getting harder for us to uh, do this sort of stuff, because people are leaving loads of rubbish behind and not taking it home with them, so uh, whenever you're out in the woods just make sure you take all your stuff away. But, um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope you've enjoyed being out, tested my tent out, it's a uh, good little tent actually. So looking forward to doing a proper overnight camp in that. Uh, I obviously I won't be able to use a tarp with it all the time depending where I'm out, like if I'm on the moves or somewhere, but if I'm in woods I'll always put a tarp over it because it gives you a bit of uh, extra shelter underneath to sit. But yeah, uh, thanks for coming along with this video and uh, thanks a lot to my subscribers and uh, like I so, hope you're enjoying the videos. Uh, sorry about the microphone running out so I don't know what the audio is like. If it has cut out somewhere along the line I'm sorry about that. I didn't realise the microphones because I didn't charge them when I first got them. So I was just using what charge was in them. But uh, yeah, I should have put them on full charge before I brought them up but uh, I... Well, no man, like so I still enjoyed myself out here anyway, so hopefully you have, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye for now.